Hey, Dave Kettner here, and in this training video, I'm gonna show you how to change a, an order, a change over to a different supplier. If you are still using Icon Ecom or any other supplier, and you have an issue where they're not able to supply, we are gonna actually change it over to a different supplier. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it with Printify. So if you haven't already signed up for Printify, make sure you use the link that I provided, either in the course, or I'll put it below this training video as well. Go ahead and just click on that, and make sure you sign up for your Printify account and then connect your store. It's very easy. Just follow the directions to connect your shop to Printify. All right. And then once you are in Printify and you're signed in, and right now I'm signed into this site right here, you could actually then go to your catalog and uh, you would go to find the mugs, right? So it would be over here under home and living, or you can always just put in that search box, you know, what you're looking for. So you would come in here and go to mugs. So in this particular circumstance here, I'm actually looking for a black mug, an 11 ounce black mug. We had this order go through here and it was for this FJB mug. And uh, we are actually going to want to supply this now because you see that SKU number there is Icon Ecom. And right now they're not able to supply these for us. So I need to switch it over to Printify. Now this is an 11 ounce mug. All right, so what I would do here is I'm gonna search for a black 11 ounce mug. Notice that's 15, this one's 11. And you can go through and you know add these to you know save it as your favorites there and uh, you know just find out which one's going to work better for you. Make sure that if you are supplying United States, that it is actually a mug that is supplied to the USA. There's a, there's all kinds of countries in here as well. So let's see, this one's uh, 477. This one over here was 561. This is 622. So then what we can do is you can come in here, you can read read the reviews and uh, you know see what they're saying. This one's shipped from the United States, it's got 7.9 stars. So not that great, you want that close to 10 as possible. So I'm not gonna favor that one. Let me look at this one here. And this is the more expensive one, 622, 7.8 from the US. All right, so not much better there. And that third one I saw was here, 561. And this is from Germany, all right? So not great reviews on any of these. I'm not gonna do the one from Germany because I'm looking for the USA. All right, so uh, this generic brand, let's see what this one was here, uh, 7.9 and 4.99 ship. Actually, I'm gonna take this one, okay? So it does, you can do the whole wraparound exterior and whatnot, so I'm gonna click on Start Designing, all right? And this is going then to allow me to start designing this mug from this particular supplier. And uh, I want to design this one right here. So if I go into this order, you'll see that this is the mug we have, and um, I'm going to actually get that design. All right, so I already downloaded my design, so I have it, and then I just need to put it onto the mug here. All right, so I'm going to go to where it says My Device, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to get that image here real quick. And when you click on it, it uh, brings it in here, and it uploads it to Printify, and then it's also gonna put it into your library up here. So after you load a design one time, you'll have those designs in your library. Okay, so when this one comes in, which is about done here, after it adds the file to the library, you're then gonna be able to rearrange it. Now, what's different between designing it in here and designing it in Icon Ecom is you need to, if you want it printed twice, you're gonna to wanna to put it on both the right side and the left side. All right, so we gotta play around with this to make sure it fits. So I'm gonna make it a little smaller here and I'll put it over here. You see there's a midline there that shows I had it centered in the middle, and then left and right, we're gonna have to figure that out. So I'm gonna try that right there. I'm gonna go to preview to see what it looks like on the right side of the mug. And it's gonna show me right here. Eh, it could be a little more to the right. So I go back to edit, and I'm gonna move it a little bit more to the right, and then hit preview again, and see how that one looks, because I just want it centered based on the handle. That one looks pretty good. All right, so now I go back to edit, because remember, if you want to print on both sides, you have to put the other design on the left. So I'm gonna go here to this duplicate here, and I'm gonna move it now to the left side and put it about there. And then I wanna preview now the left side of the glass and see the mug and see how that works. I can go a little more to the left. So I'm gonna come back to edit, move it a little bit to the left and preview it and see how that looks. And even a little more, I can go a little bit more on that one. So make sure you don't go over that dotted line though. So let me go over here, preview that and go to the left and see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. So now we have our left side of the mug, we have the right side of the mug, and you have you know some other images in here. So I'm not so much worried about the images because we already have them in our Etsy store. I just wanted to be able to supply this product, right? So I'm gonna hit Save Product, and then what we do here is I'm gonna go back to my Etsy store. I'm gonna grab this title, 
I'm gonna copy it and bring it over here because now when I come down, instead of just saying 11 ounce black mug, I wanna call it what it is. Now this is more so for me to know what it is. Uh, I'm not actually pushing this to the store and I'll show you why here in a minute. So I wanna hide this in the store. All I wanna do here is I just want to supply this product you know, for the time being. And I'll show you actually how we can automatically make it go through. All right, so this shipping profile already be made, all that is good. I'm gonna hit publish. All right, so it's gonna publish here pretty quickly. Now this is ready for fulfillment. All right, so what I wanna to do to get this now to fulfill for this particular order that went through here is I'm gonna come over here to orders and gotta realize that once your store is connected, it might take a little while for it to bring in the orders, all right? But I'm gonna to go to other orders right here and what it's gonna do here, it's gonna show me all the orders that have gone through my Etsy store recently. Now I want the one that is being shipped to this person right here, all right? Colette Smith, all right? So I'm gonna come over here and find it. There it is, Colette Smith. I'm gonna click on this right here and I'm gonna select the, now the product for this particular order. Now I'm gonna select the product that we just did, which is our LBJ mug. So I'm gonna click on that and there's only one style. You know, it's 11 ounce. Now I could do a 15 ounce here, that's an option, but we just want the 11 ounce. So I'm gonna click on that. Once we have this ready, I'm gonna confirm it. Do not connect this one here, automatically import orders, all right? Because it's we're not gonna connect it to the, it, we're hiding this one in the store and I'll show you how we're gonna do it here in a second. So I'm gonna confirm this, all right, and I'm gonna click on import order. Now for some reason, if in your orders there, it doesn't pull it in, you can manually go through and copy and paste the details for this shipping purse, for this Colette here, uh, but that brought it in easily. So I'm gonna click on import order and then I'm gonna confirm that it is all good. Now there's one more thing that we need to do to make sure that this order goes through is uh, once we click on orders here, you'll see this and it's gonna show here, it's on hold processing, but give it a minute, I'm gonna refresh it and it's actually gonna you know, basically ask us to submit it again. All right, so it takes a minute or two and uh, you'll see that uh, it'll want you to manually submit it. Now, what I'm gonna do here in a minute is I'm gonna make it so we have orders that go through with that design in our Etsy store, go through to Printify so it'll automatically process without us having to do this in the future. All right, first of all, let me hit refresh and see if this has gone through. There it is, it requires action on hold. All right, so it's just a, a, a step to make sure you go through and you check it. Now we did this all ourselves. If you wanna check it, you can go in there, but I know it's ready to go. So I hover over here and just hit submit order. Then it's gonna send it to production and I'll give you the pre-transit information. Now that we connected it this way, going through the other orders, once it is ready, it will automatically connect to your Etsy store and let Colette know the, that it's been shipped with the tracking. Keep an eye on it because sometimes it doesn't always work, uh, but just make sure once you get your shipping information down here that it does go through and mark the item as shipped. All right, so one last thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that these now go through all the time. All right, so if you come out back here to my products and we wanna click on the item we just did here and open this up again. Scroll down and you're gonna see the SKU in here, so I'm gonna click on the drop down. There's our SKU, right? Right there. So if I click on that, I can copy and paste it. All right, if for some reason it's not opening up all the way, I believe there's another place that we can grab it, but if we just go right click, copy, I believe it gets the whole thing, even though it has dots, but we'll check here in a second. You're gonna go back now into your Etsy store. All right, we already submitted that. Go into your listings and find this particular mug. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it from fulfilling in Icon Ecom to Printify directly. And it's very easy to do. All we have to do is go into the product itself. All right, now we're in the product. We're gonna scroll down to where it has the SKU. All right, there's the SKU. Now that is the Icon Ecom one. We're gonna delete that and we're gonna paste in there the Printify SKU. All right, we just wanna make sure that's correct. It ends in 746. Let's make sure we got the whole number. It does end at 746, we're good. All right, the only other thing you wanna do here is probably change this from Icon Ecom to Printful, all right, Printful, and, uh, and then you hit Publish. Now what's gonna happen here, the next time that an order goes through for this particular mug, it's now gonna automatically process through Printify. It's not gonna go through Icon Ecom anymore. If you notice right here, that's the new SKU. It's gonna go through Printify. And because it's not customized, it's gonna be all ready to go. All you have to do is submit the order as they are going through. So you can do this for all your products, whatever products you wanna change, you can do it in advance, or you can do it 
for just the ones as they go through. Totally up to you how you want to do it, but that's the easy way of doing it. Just make sure that you are always coming in to your orders and you are submitting them because uh, as they go through, you want them to be in production. Now see, this is showing here. As I'm filming this on February 3rd, it's showing me it's gonna ship on Tuesday. They ship very quickly. And uh, this is a great way to cover uh, when we have issues with Icon Ecom and even move forward with uh, using Printify as well. All right, so that shows you how to go ahead and, uh, and fulfill with Printify with orders that you already have going through Etsy. Remember, there's no reason to redo your listings and, and push them out to Etsy for 20 cents. Just change the SKUs and uh, do it that way. And it makes it so the listings are still there. They're still getting all the traction and everything like that. So I hope you found this productive. I hope you are able to get these to uh, your orders switched over as needed. And thank you for listening to me today and hope you uh, take this and you make lots of sales with it. All right, you have a great day. Talk soon.